for this demo um, I decided to use another landscape <coughs> so the, there is one tree um, I want to put one tree here and there is a kind of water here and I would like to show some rocks or small to define this uh, edge with the rod and here will be water so these are a couple of trees in this area and um, we'll have a green surface here, maybe that works. And um, one thing that I want to illustrate here is by adding a kind of dark um, surface, which is can be a mountain or yeah. So I want to define it, define this depth trees. In this area with a dark space, by putting a kind of dark, uh, dark element on the background, and that's very helpful when it comes to uh, painting in watercolor. Sometimes we have to think about um, uh, the dark space behind the objects, and it's really helpful to, uh, you know, to show these elements, I mean, the elements that I want to focus on. So, uh, so in this, this sketch, we'll see uh, to define the, the trees and um, to trees closer to, our, uh, to us, we are putting it, you know, a mountain, dark mountain behind, behind it. So that's one way of um, uh, I mean, uh, put emphasis on the subjects in the, or in, yeah, in the painting. So in terms of uh, proportion, so maybe in this one will be the, this line is the center of the frame, my, uh, my frame. So the line of the river is below the center of, so it's not exactly in the center of the frame. And uh, that's one item that, in terms of composition, actually is important. Uh, so, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's the, that's the sketch that I uh, do today. And uh, hopefully we can get a good painting out of it. So, for me, I like this little small, I mean, round rocks here. So I didn't, the way that I want to define it is uh, when we have a bunch of these rocks there, so we have to know the, where the direction of the light is. So if, if the direction is like here, right to left, I'm putting shadows on the left side and make the dark, put a dark color in between. And here is the water. So it's uh, by only adding dark colors in between between the, the rocks and also put the shadow, we can get the shape of these uh, rocks actually for the for this board for for this edge. Okay, so um, in my painting, uh, this area, this form will be sky. And this is the mountain, which is a dark mountain, maybe dark uh, blue-green. And this one is the again mountain, but in far, so that will be bluish. Or, and then uh, this one will be warm colors, like um, yeah, um, using red, uh, yellow. So these guys will be that uh, that tone. Here, maybe I use a kind of uh, warm. Uh, 
warm and green and that's the water so it will be uh, and some reflections maybe I can use uh, maybe I change the path so I can use the reflections here and rock so that's the story that I wanted so the focal point will be somewhere here or maybe yeah, this area will be a focal point so let's see let's start painting and uh, maybe at, um, as you know maybe during the painting we we'll, we we'll always uh, there is time to change the you know change the even the composition actually but not the main elements so we know that we have trees we have uh, I mean mountain in the background uh, so these are the main elements, but maybe we can adjust it a little uh, more later during the painting. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at my um, value sketch and um, I mean try to draw what I what, uh, what we talked about. So I think maybe I would like to show this paper maybe yeah I think that's better. Or, yeah. yeah, this shape may be better. So, I like to make it curvy like this. And the uh, form of tree will be kind of random shape. And these are the group of trees here. Also, Uh, so the dark elements I mean mountain area that we're talking is like the shape will be like this and these are the green trees so and I would like to show a kind of uh, another mountain in this area so I think yeah I think the area for sky is fine okay so I start from the top part of my painting and uh, start from top also from light color colors so in this case I try to make the surface wet a little uh, and uh, yeah I use the blue color for the sky and uh, since uh, this will be a mountain so I want to show with the use blue color here mm. and um, I think one item is important the item is important here is following the um, following the forms that we um, we have in mountain so my brush follows the the, the form of the uh, the shape so it's it's from top to the bottom these are the these are the shadows that we have in the in the background in the mountain so I have to follow the you know my see the way that I'm using brush is from top to bottom so that's why that me, it gives me the um, real uh, form of the um, mountain. So that will be helpful to use this method. So I start from trees in the, here. So these are the warm color. That, want to use and uh, for this guy maybe I use orangish and that's helpful and maybe here some red I add red here and then Word. 
the for the green part I try to use the again same colors but with different uh, tones and uh, forgot to show the rocks so maybe these are these guys will be the rocks that we were talking about and uh, maybe some some here so so in terms of reflection of the tree I would like to show like same colors that we already have in the tree and um, that will be helpful to get the composition right actually so that's uh, that's another way that it will be good in our painting so I use blue here for the river and uh, yeah so I try to keep the white white space of in on a paper so that's the beauty of watercolor to use the white space of the paper so whenever we need white it's better to use the you know not use the white color sometimes we use but uh, it's better to not to uh, and try to keep the white space of the bottom paper and um, it helps us to control the I mean the paint I would like to show maybe yeah a greenish or yeah yellow here for the yeah, later on I can add some more dark blue and uh, for the green tree in this part I want to yeah I think it's better to show it like very free green tree and uh, with different tones of green and uh, maybe dark green some places will be helpful it's very very blue so it's uh yeah we have to think about how to use with how to find the shapes with less brush stroke that's that's very important to figure it out and I have some here as well okay so 
think for the sky maybe I need more blue here. So yeah, that will be helpful. So this area should be wet. I think meanwhile I start working uh, in a tree part, so try to add some more dark colors here, maybe that's helpful. And uh, For the background here, I want to use a very dark um, green bluish color. So, in this case, it gives me a kind of uh, it defines the tree here, and all, and also, I mean, gives me a very nice uh, definition of the elements that I have in the front part. So I think I use a, a kind of purple color. It will be helpful to because I already have red, blue, so I can get the mixture of these two color and uh, and see. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Let's see how it works. So. Since I'm, since I'm putting color there, I, I'm thinking about the, the form of the trees as well. So it's the same way I'm thinking about two, two shapes. Yeah, it's uh, at the same time, it's, it keeps me the form of the mountain, the background, and the tree shapes actually. There is dark trees here, so when I need dark in this area, so I think it's better to, to add dark. So because it's in the shadow part. And, uh, okay, I think uh, so far it's good. So I can define the uh, the bottom part of the trees here. So maybe by adding some. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm 
going to add the, some branches for the trees and uh, so the, those branches will be dark and um, dark maybe dark brown So by adding some details here in the uh, stones or rubbles here, maybe we will get the better definition of those uh, small rocks here. So yeah, I'm adding some dark areas uh, as the shadow part because the, the light uh, is from right to left. So that's why that I added those shadows on the left side of these trees and same thing happens for the for these rocks so some part is wet it's still wet and uh, we have to wait to get the yeah it should be dry you know? I mean otherwise it doesn't give us a kind of uh, right shape for them but uh, that's fine I think it's working so I think it's uh... yeah I I don't want to go to detail show exactly the same shape and like the way that they are in the real way but um, yeah I only want to show the I mean only when you see yeah you say yeah these are rocks so that's enough for me I think it's a uh, um, that's my gold and water color so to me it's better to add some dark uh, yellow maybe I can add uh, a little red in it so yeah yeah I think it's better to add dark dark blue some part is helpful see by adding a dark space on top of these guys we'll see these are the rocks or something is happening here so that's the 
that's the way I wanted to show the water. It's great. Using a um, dry brush, it's helpful in this area to show the reflection action. So. I think it's, um, it's good for water now, maybe I can use this white um, branches to show some white areas on that part. Hopefully you like this uh, demo. Feel free to ask me if anything it's not uh, clear for you in the, this demo. And uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel to get more lessons in watercolor.